Welcome back. Some great questions in the viewer mailbag this morning. We'll start off with Melissa. She says this is my formerly very healthy and thriving money tree plant. It's still producing some healthy looking shoots, but many other leaves are turning brown, yellow and curling. What has happened? I've tried to research possible diagnoses and all I see is either getting too much water or not enough. I've tried both, but haven't seen much of an improvement. Please help. Well, I had a friend with a money tree about the same size and similar problem for her, and I wish I'd been able to catch hers in time, but I think there is time to fix yours. The extra daylight and warmth of summer usually mean plants of all kinds love to grow. That actually includes house plants, which can grow quite a bit. It looks like the plant might be too small for it now to grow too much more. The malnourished roots might be making it more susceptible to other plant problems. I would consider a slightly larger pot, something with good drainage as well. And when you're repotting, gently break up the clumped up roots a bit, clip off the damage and brown leaves after you transplant it and keep it well watered in the new home. I'm guessing it will quickly recover, but keep me posted though. Ted writes in, how do I keep my hydrangea plants from flopping over after a rainstorm? Well, I love hydrangeas. They are such pretty flowers, but with some heavy rains, there's not much you can do to keep them from falling down with the weight of the water. If the soil is well drained, though, they should bounce back pretty quickly. You can shake off the rainwater, at least gently, to get them to bounce back a little faster, but it won't damage the plant. Larry emailed us, when I saw you talking about weeds, I wondered why people hate weeds. Aren't they simply a different type of plant? Well, the mantra of master gardeners and honestly most gardeners is the right plant for the right place. A weed is technically hard to define. At the basic, it would be the wrong plant in the wrong place. Many things that folks once thought 100 or two years ago were beautiful and ornamentals and tried to cultivate now are considered invasive and will take over a landscape. So that definition is expanded over time and come to mean a plant that can multiply quickly, taking over a landscape in a harmful way to the detriment of other plants in the landscape, generally those of native variety. Things like butterfly bushes, garlic mustard and scotch broom are all things that come to mind that would fit the bill. I'm sure if you ask 100 different gardeners about what makes a weed, you get about 100 different answers. If you get a, got any gardening questions, feel free to email me here at the station, tjoyce at wgntv.com. Make sure to tell me where you live, and pictures of your problem plants can also be a big help, too. Coming up next, we've got your top stories and another look at the forecast.